Hey guys, how's it going? Big Red Bullion here. Today we are going to be making this piece here. Um, this is for a, a good friend, Robert Caldwell. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, we want to throw some powder on this mold. Really good. Okay. Like so. Now we're going to take the top of our flask and just place it there, like so. I'm going to grab our sifter. We're going to sift the sand on top so we capture all that detail. All right, so now that we covered the mold with the sifted sand, we should be good for detail. Now, so you break up some sand here and lay it on top. So just give me a couple seconds here to break some sand up. So I just want to try and fill these sides up first. We don't want any like overly big clumps. We can help it. Not at this point in the stage anyhow. I want to keep them fairly small. Okay, now we are going to just gently push down, go around the sides. Now we want to push sturdy on where the mold is. stronger we push the more detail we should get okay I think we are okay there now just grab our sand and fill up the flask Grab more sand. Okay, now grab our roller. And just try and pack this in as good as you can. So, we should be good there. Okay. Pick that up. 
take out some extra here are tray. Uh, now as you see here we're just going up to the mall doesn't have to be a hundred percent right now So, as you see that, now we're going to take our tool here, okay, and we're going to go around it. And this is going to create our vacuum that we want. side okay so <clears throat> now you should have something that kind of looks like this uh, which is going to be good what we want to do is just take our tool and push down in these cracks just to make sure they're packed down good. Like so Yeah. Like so. Alright, now what we want to do is just grab our powder, put it on top. Alright, <clears throat> now what we want to do is grab our top flash, place it into the holes and line it up. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in this side and then we'll be back, okay? Alright guys, so we got it all packed up. Let's try to pull it apart. Good, back looks great. Okay, let's put that up to the side here. Now the job is to get this so without wrecking any of the detail. So we're going to take our magic wand here, give it a few taps. Cut. Now, we're going to give it some taps.
Grab our tool here. So that looks pretty dang good there. Making sure all the detail is there. Looks good, looks good. Looks amazing actually. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put this off to the side quickly. We're gonna bring back our other half here, like so. Okay, so now what we need to do, so now I need to add a sprue. And what we're gonna do, so we're going to add our sprue directly into the middle here of my logo and that's fine that we do that and you'll see why after it's casted so there you go just want to make sure that's really cleaned up uh, okay and now we want to make a deep impression in the sand So as you guys see here, I got this funnel. All right, that's what we want. Okay, now that we got that, I'm gonna flip this back over, put our dowel back through the same hole, like so. And that's just gonna clean it up there. Okay. Alright, we are looking good there. So we can get rid of this. Okay. Now we need vents. Vents are very important as well. Uh, so, so we want the gas to escape. So we're going to put one here. Uh, we're going to put one over here. Okay. Um, and as you guys see, I'm just using toothpicks here, uh, no big deal. So what we want to do, just want to grab our dowel again and push these toothpicks all the way through to the other side. Like so. Okay. rid of any extra sand okay and now that we got two vents we're gonna add in two more one there and uh, we'll just, for safety measures, put one at the top. We shouldn't need the one at the top, but like I said, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so now that they're pushed through, there we go, there's one. Two, perfect. 
All right. All right, let's uh, continue on now. So we're gonna grab our half here, lay it down very carefully. Okay, now we got everything ready. We just want to carefully, very gently, place this right on top, like so, okay? Now if you want to, you can roll it over, just to make sure. Grab your pins, place your pins in. I had this flash custom made for me, so. All right, so we'll plate that over there by the furnace. Alright guys, we will be back when it's poured. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we are back. So as you guys see in this picture here, we have finally finished the piece for Mr. Robert Caldwell. So there you guys go. You guys can see all the detail. This thing is beautiful. I am telling you, I love the metal look finish on it. Um, very cool. Um, so basically a lot of polishing, a lot of filing, a lot of sanding. People don't understand. And I'm telling you, I don't know how I can say this and not keep saying it. People don't realize the amount of work that goes into a piece like this. You know, it's not something that just gets poured, tumbled and out the door. There is a lot of work that goes into this. Um, for example, molds, right? Um, I'm telling you, um, sometimes when you think you got the right mold, sometimes that mold doesn't work right in sand. So sometimes adjustments need to be made. And, uh, you know, thanks to uh, my mold guy, Mask Man, 100% mad love, respect, brother. Um, he is the man to go to. We worked through all the issues that we had. Um, with the molds and finally came up with a perfect mold and as you guys can see we got a perfect pour um, so let me show you on the back it's got the logo 10.9 ounces 999 fine silver our call well on the back I left the uh, the darker antiquing around the edge to kind of as you guys know this is you know uh, fire court, so obviously uh, Robert Cole is a volunteer firefighter, so I figured the little darkness around the edges and stuff, um, and as you see here, it's kind of it's black here, it kind of gives it that look like, you know, it's been in a fire or something, you know, got like this soot on it, you know, I thought that was pretty cool to have that on the back, um, and then on the front, you know, just super shiny uh black in all the details uh to really make everything pop um i mean you can even see like the little line textures in the piece which is just beautiful when it's been antiqued um all that texture came out beautiful in this um so yeah hopefully it likes it but look it see these see this big stack of molds here you see it I mean, these are the attempts, you know, and uh, they're all great molds, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they just, they didn't look right in the sand, so we just had to continue to work through all the problems that we had, so, and then we came up with the perfect mold. Okay. So let's move all this. Bam. Perfect mold. 
Perfect pour. Mass man, you rock. Robert, hope you love it, brother. And uh, I'm done with the project. These are all going to the trash. And uh, I'm putting this on my wall to remind me that there will only be one ever made. So guys, until next time, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that thumbs up, share out the video if you guys can. It would truly mean a lot to me. Um, as you guys know, I just got the 2K. So until next time guys, like I always say, keep stacking and have a good day.